Welcome back guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to Major. And the quest help for today is with early retirement. So, let's get into it. The first thing you'll do with early retirement is listen to the strange signal. You get a like Morse code beeping. It'll pop up saying, you know, investigate clues to the strange signal. Turn the signal off and head on over to campus law offices. Just on your map. Head on over there, and that's where the quest will really start. Alright, so when you make it to the campus law offices, head on up, following your marker, and when you come to this bit here, it might be a couple, two or three raiders. Take them out, and then use the terminal. Once you've, used, once you've hacked into the terminal, there'll be a few bits in there to read and do. Just go through it, once you've gone through it all, it'll pop up a new location. You got the encrypted message, it says follow the cowser. And he is just over here at Far Line Hills Estate. So let's head on over there now. Alright, when you make it over there, there'll be a nice little house to head into. Head straight upstairs. And just behind you will be the detective. Search him. Get the key, get the mission log, get a nice early retirement uh, revolver, which is a legendary. Get a nice detective coat as well. Does 25% more damage against simps. Get some ammo, a few bits and bobs. When you pick up the mission log and the key, go ahead and read the mission log. And I'll tell you what to do next. So literally just click the journals, don't have to read all this. Just go back, go through them all. Just make sure you've got more just to access the quest. Keep it going. There we go. Now it says kill Burner and Captain Jen Jansen. Or kill or de delete institute records. So I'm going to help you guys out here. I'm going to save it here. And then what we do is we do one part of the quest. And then we do the second part. So let me speed this up and jump into it now. Alright, so the first part of this, I'm going to go and delete Institute Records straight off the bat. Now, if you've got nowhere on to no fast travel way over there, just uh, run over there from where you are, or fast travel to the nearest point, not really far. I'll speed this bit up for you guys, though. Alright, we've made it over here now. As you get close to the building, it will unlock the location, University Point Pharmacy. Uh, there are a few synths knocking on the outside. Um, First of all, you're about to go through. Don't go through it. Go around the back of it. And as you see, I've come out the front door. I went in it by mistake. <clears throat> go to the back of it. Go to the terminal. Unlock the terminal. And then head on, on the inside of the door. And you'll be in the back room. You go through the front door. The front door takes you into the front bit. That's just literally a small little room. I'll show you from this side now. So in the back of it, and as you can see, there's a big sort of barrier that separates two rooms. The front door just takes you into that small front bit. Head onto the terminal and read the files, or ultimately just click the bottom one, which is delete all files. You don't have to do the other two if you don't wish. I just go through them all, just to make sure I don't miss any of the quest line. Once you delete all the files, click yes, and then head back on the outside, and go to the key for location. For this, we're going to head over to Good Neighbours location. That's a good starting point. Get there now. Alright, so from Good Neighbour, just follow it around. Put it to the left, go straight up this ramp, and then drop down. There's going to be some enemies around. You can just ignore them if you really wish. I decided to fight a few of them just for points to put myself in a bit of a predicament. But other than that, head down here, go to the mailbox, and then grab the penthouse key. Put it around. I don't know why, I just I keep trying to kill him. I'm going to fast forward this bit for you guys. From the mailbox, go left. And you'll see this big metal structure. A few hound dogs outside, kill them off. Might be a goal or two. Kill them as well. See, there's a goal behind me. I don't know why he decides he wants to like fight with me. Um, head on inside the building and then go up the stairs. 
All right, once you're inside, there'll be one or two super mutants and four hand dogs. There'll be a frag grenade just before you get to the staircase. Um, I don't know where that glowing mongrel came from, but he appeared inside, so we we'll just quickly finish everyone off. Straight upstairs and straight into the penthouse. And voila, since you're upstairs, you have now completed the other retirement. Congratulations. So that was the first, that was option A. That's the first way of doing it by just going deleting all the fires straight off the bat. So let's see what happens when you do it the other way. Let me skip to that now. All right, so option B. Let's go into the map and go kill Burner and Jensen. So we're gonna help to backstreet appeal now. Kill Burner. As soon as you're here, you'll be able to little fight a bit called Torrance, one or two raiders, and Burner himself. Just get him destroyed with. Before you go and check him out. Alright, now you've got him dead. Grab his bits, bolt cap, ammo, marksman rifle, Sims components, combat armor. Nothing actually useful on him. Let's skip over Jensen. Alright, as soon as you're at the junkyard place, you've probably uh, been there a few times already. Go in there, wipe all the enemies out, kill Jensen, you better to retrieve. Bits and bobs. Last speed is a bit up for you guys. Alright, once you've killed them all and killed Jensen, head on over to Jensen's body and grab his few bits that he's got on him. He's got a journal, bottle caps, ammo, clothing, guns, so forth. If you go into the, into the journal, there's a few bits in there to read for early retirement. But it's not actually, it just tell, it's a bit, bit more of a backstory um, to why. The detective's not alive no more, and what's going on with everything. Um, there's about four different segments to read. Have a read of all if you want. That's all it is. Um, this will then take you on to back over to the mailbox where you first picked up the penthouse key, as you saw in the video when I first deleted all the files. So it doesn't matter what way you go, you're going to end up at exactly the same point. What you want to do is, is I'm going to skip all this bit because it wants you to go delete all the files now. So just note, if you kill Burner and Jensen, instead of deleting the files, it will come up saying a few encrypted files instead of delete and it will give you a bit more of the backstory um, and it will change it slightly but you still get the same outcome of having to go get the key in the mailbox, you don't get anything extra from this. And there you guys have it, you have now completed early retirement. So depending on where you go, whether you go and delete the files or kill Ben and Jensen, get the thing, um, his journal. Don't get much else, but you do get a sweet penthouse. And just look at it, so clean, crisp. You can see outside. Nice little utility room and bedroom. It's a really nice place. Once you do this as well, you will get all the, every part of the bits for this uh, to build on the inside of your settlement bases so you can use different materials from um, department at your um, settlements which is really nice You've got another safe house with inside if you have the new Coca-Cola um, creation uh, club mod one as well you get a nice little safe house for that one but all in all it's a really nice place that was a fun little mission to do doesn't matter what way you do it same outcome either way this little quest guide helped you to choose whether you go to delete the files or do burner or Jensen first. Be sure to drop the video a like. Any questions, let me know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe for more Fallout 4 content. Until next time guys, take it easy.